Welcome everybody to Man vs VR where today we are going to be jumping into some No Man's Sky VR thanks to the Beyond update that just hit this week. Now if you want to skip the gameplay and go straight to the review, timestamp is down below. All you got to do is check the description and click that link and you'll go straight to the review. Alright, let's go ahead and jump in. We are going to go to a different planet. We want to go to Discoveries. We have been to this one right here. The one with the rings on it. The shattered planet. Find a spot to land right quick, right here. Oh, look, it's like floating rocks and stuff. Lots of material. What is this? It's just like trash everywhere. I just landed on the trashiest planet that ever existed. And it looks all so cool. Like, look at this. This looks amazing. What is that? That's an animal? No. I gotta get a closer look. Look at that thing. It's just, there's more. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, look at these. That's carbon. What is this? That's an electric cube. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, I pick it up. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of everything here. This is so cool. It's just covered in junk. It doesn't look like I have any like hazardous material story or hazardous atmosphere or anything like that, so that's good to see. My health is going down, it says. So maybe it is a little bit hazardous. Hold on. Inventory. That's fine. Oh, there's some sodium up there. Maybe close to the sodium will be some of the oxygen we need. I just am completely flabbergasted by this planet right now. My health is going down. But all in the name of science, right? A floating crystal? Advanced mining laser. Tet cobalt. That is a plant. Gold. Gold deposits. Gold deposits. Yo, I hit the greatest planet ever. This is awesome. I don't even know what I can do with those cubes. But I'm going to do something with them. Got to make sure I stay on top of my health. 
it over there. What's this? That's a different plant. This is nuts. Oxygen. Yes. Need more oxygen. Because I am definitely chilling here for a little bit. So much trash. The more I move, the more it hurts. I'm getting oxygen. There's the gold. Terrain manipulator required. Weapon charge depleted. Oh, I'm getting so much gold. Sweet. This right here is what this game is about. Oh my god. And it's VR. It's in VR. I cannot explain how awesome this is right now. One of the... This planet alone, like, if I was just playing this planet alone in VR, it would be an experience on its own. But I get to go to other planets and explore and find even better stuff if possible. I don't even know if it's possible though. I really don't. I don't know. This is amazing. Like I'm definitely building my base here. Let's see what else we can find. Like what's that over there? There's a question mark. Question mark with electric cube. Copper deposit. What's this right here? We get more gold? Yeah, we're getting more gold. That's what it's about right there. There is a drone over there, so we're gonna drop into the hole and do some mining. What the drone don't know, don't hurt. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. And then if I just need some oxygen, you know, just shoot this stuff and I'm getting ferrite dust and oxygen to figure out where I want to build my base and then I gotta go back and get my spaceship but there's plenty of oxygen for on the way back so just kind of exploring right now this is amazing like look at this I can explore all of that is that a cave I can't tell if that's a cave or water or just like a blank spot. Any other cool stuff to explore? We're gonna check out that weed over there. <gasps> there is a cave. A humming sack. Nothing to see here, bro. Can I go in there? Uh, there's only one way to do this that I know of. I don't know if there's a crouch, so... I mean, can I go low? No. Alright, so... We make our own way through. Yeah! It goes deeper! Oh my goodness, like this right here is what I play for. This right here, this is why I bought this game. Look! Need some carbon for our gun, so I might as well grab it. Also for our refinery when we make our base down in this cave. As this floor is gonna give us some of that good old oxygen we all love and need to breathe. I found my home. It keeps going. Gotta clear out the space. Cause you know, I'm about to build a base. And then we got a nice little exit point. Nope, it just keeps going. I guess we're just gonna keep going too. But, this is so much fun. Ah, da, 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 da. There's more ways to go than one. Back to the surface. Yeah, all right. I need to build my base. 
Don't you get all red on me. I will shoot you. You were fine until I pointed my gun at you. I wasn't going to hurt you, but you started flaring up and I had to get rid of you. All right, so do that. Put the carbon in there. Put the copper in there. All right, so how much copper do I need? I'll find an area to deploy the base computer. Right here. So what do we need to build the base computer? 40 out of 40. All right. We're going to put the base computer right there in the corner. Construct a shelter. Okay. From the build menu. Yeah. I got a base. And it's looking really good. There's so much trash. Some of the stuff's not even materials I can use. We're going to put this thing right next to our computer. Buildable technology? Research or technology. Okay. Cost two salvage datas. I don't think you're going to find any salvage data on this planet. But we might have to go to another planet for that stuff. Which is completely worth it because I've got plenty of other resources here that I could use. Ha <laughs> ha! It's so beautiful! Alright, so we're going to head back to our ship. Might go to another planet to get our buried technology. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm definitely not seeing that on this planet. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, that's not good. We got to go. I triggered him, but I got away in time, it looks like. He's still looking for me. Still looking for me. Aha! Yes! Deactivated. Gotta get this stuff because you don't know how hazardous the next planet we go to is. Need this to recharge my hazards. Inventory. We got gas, right? And right here we got plenty. Okay, so I think we'll be alright. Go ahead and get out of space here, and then we'll figure out what planet we're going to. Unmapped. Aoka 24-7. K7. Alright, so we're going to that planet. Looks like a pretty basic rock planet. I don't think I see any water. Like some cool fog looking stuff, but... Oh, there is water. Oh wow, it actually looks pretty cool. Um, Environment, toxic... Well, I figured that it would be any oxygen got some sodium over there if we catch that on the way back oh we got to get back to the ship incoming storm and everything storm pass and then we'll get back to business I made it oh man that toxicity was ridiculous. All right, let's fly this thing over here. See if we can get closer to that buried piece of technology because I need one more. I think I can make it. Got it. Back to the ship we go. Going back to my planet. That's full of trash. Me gas. Make one of these. Need to make another one of these. Always have an extra one. All right, we're gonna get some, shoot some asteroids while we're up here. There we go. Getting some of that tritium. I think that's how you say it. Looks like there's a space station right there. Yeah, buddy. Sure is. That's a space station. Oh, yeah. 
And she is the best player ever. Alright, where do I want to land at? Alright. We are back on our planet. Where's an entry point at? <laughs> uh, I didn't think that part through. I gotta find an entry point. I think I came down from that way last time, so... We'll try over there. Yeah, because there's the wheat. Remember that wheat we were gonna look at? There it is. Right there. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a little tunnel I digged. Oh man, I'm so pumped. All right. All right, so go back to the surface. Get some dust. Let's see where a drone is real quick so we don't get, you know. Oh, he's looking. Is there like a front and a back? I'm gonna guess that this is the front. So we're gonna put the teleporter right there. Yeah, cause there's where the little wire's gotta come out. Need a metal plating and oxygen. But I gotta get oxygen for me to breathe too. Here and scan real quick. There's oxygen there. Is there any drones around? <laughs> Gotta get away from that dude. Oh look, there's more of those animals. I think I just killed it. Sorry, bro. Oh shoot! I messed up, guys! <laughs> Got out of there like freaking... It was nothing, man. Hopefully they don't find my base. Put you right. There. Then, power grid, power grid, power. All right, so now I need to make a furnace tank. There we go. Hey, and we got a teleporter. Yes. All right, so I get to go to the space station. So I got to go back to my ship, which is like right above me. Let's get some fuel. I go out this way. I should be good. Aha. Alright, so we're going to the space station, which is that way. Alright, so. I'm so pumped.
Yes, we made it to the space station. All right, there you go. There you guys have it. That's my intro to survival. What an amazing experience so far. Holy cow. And there's my beautiful planet right there with my base. I just couldn't be happy right now. And the beautiful looking space station. The scale of the space station is absolutely amazing. Wow. Alright, so there you guys have it. That was some No Man's Sky in VR gameplay. Now, I have two profiles going. I have Survival and I have Normal that I play with my brother in multiplayer. I've got 21 hours logged into the game. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's probably the most fun 21 hours that I've ever played in a VR game. The first thing I want to talk about is the planets. The planets look absolutely phenomenal in VR. Like, I mean, you guys just saw I was on a junk planet in my Survival gameplay and... <laughs> that was beautiful. Junk has never looked so good. I've been to planets where there's foliage. I've been to planets where there's just a bunch of water and some islands. I've been to snow planets as you saw in the beginning of my gameplay. By the way, I absolutely hated that in survival. I just, it was miserable experience, which it should be because it's a snow planet and it's accurate. You know what I mean? Like you're just going to be freezing the whole time. Why would you want to remain there? That's why I left. And that's when I ended up at that junk planet. And I got to say, that's probably the coolest planet I've ever been to in this game. And I've been to a few planets, but like I said, I've been to planets that had foliage, water. I've had been to desert planets. I've been to planets full of life. And it's just like out of all of those, that junk planet was the best looking one. I don't know why, but it's just so cool to see all the different colors all that within the dirt and everything just kind of thrown around and scattered and shattered and it was just really really cool looking and i really like the concept of that planet and i would like to come across more one of the coolest parts about being on a planet though is the fact that you can explore the entire planet i mean you can look around and everything you look at is a place you can go to there's caves there's mountains there's cliffs canyons like it's it's just amazing it's just there's so much going on with these planets that you can't help but just enjoy a single planet but then you have to remind yourself there's other planets out there that you can explore that are all randomized it's just completely insane it's an insane experience and it's a beautiful thing to have come to vr the next thing I want to go over is the flying mechanics. The flying mechanics are cool where you grab the thruster and you grab the throttle with your grips. You get to business with your ship and it's just like, hey, you're flying and you're thrusting and you're going. But I will say that I've got it down pretty well, but man, do I suck at dogfights. So I can't dogfight to save my life. Like literally, like my, I get into a dogfight and I just zoom out. I go through an asteroid field. I try and lose them and then I just freaking beeline out of there straight to the nearest planet, hit that warp drive, and I'm, bam, I'm gone. I don't even want to stick around because it's so hard. Maybe I should practice in a multiplayer match with somebody and kind of, you know, chase them down, see if I can get it to where I can follow them and maneuver. But right now, I've got everything down but dogfighting when it comes to flying. And other than the dogfighting, it's a really fun experience. Like, there's nothing cooler than flying into a planet, going to land, or even flying out of a planet and, you know, taking off into space and seeing, like, you know just the atmosphere disappear the next thing you know you're seeing stars and you see planets in the distance and you see a space station that you can fly to it's just an absolute crazy experience and i just can't believe it's available in vr the other thing i want to talk about is the mechanics of the game as like the multi-tool and the inventory system in my opinion they all work really really well i have seen some people complain about the inventory system but i don't mind it at all like i think it's really easy to navigate i think the multi-tool is phenomenal i mean it's like it was made for vr it's just the perfect vr tool you just point it at what you want to do and you shoot it and it works it works flawlessly it's just amazing and i can't complain about that at all now i will say when you get everything tweaked and it starts running decent now i say decent because there's still some performance issues in this game, but I'm gonna praise Hello Games because they are doing a phenomenal job with updates right now. I mean, there's been an update that hit since I was editing this video. So once you get your settings tweaked and you get everything looking how you want it to look while running smooth, oh man, one of the most beautiful visual experiences I've ever had in VR. Like just going to different planets and like I said, that junk just looked amazing in VR and it's the 3D aspect of everything. It just looks really, really good and it's a really really fun experience and it's just something that 
I probably will never forget. But now on to the stuff that no one likes to talk about, right? I mean, no one wants to talk about the bad stuff. But hey, the game right now is poorly optimized. And I don't want to say it runs like crap. But when you launch it, it runs like crap. You really got to tweak some settings. Performance is a lot better than what it was when the update launched. Because when I tried streaming it right after launch, I'm not going to say I was motion sick or nauseous, but I definitely felt goofy inside. Like, it was more of like I felt it when I took off the headset, and then when I walked around and, you know, continued my daily life in the real world, things just kind of seemed off because I was so used to the stuttery experience that the game was providing, even while tweaking it to the best I could at the time. I played about four hours after the update hit, and I still had a blast. But I was determined to get the game running good and I eventually got it to where it was a decent experience and I'm really really looking forward to seeing what updates they provide to help the performance issues because a lot of people are having them all the way up to some of the strongest graphics cards down to you know the lowest tier recommended graphics card. More of uh, waiting for a fix and seeing what happens but right now as you guys can see I got the game running really really good I had a really fun experience and it's running a lot better than what it was on launch day. I just want to say that if you have a VR headset and you know you want to play this game go ahead and pick it up while it's on sale you can hold off wait for the performance issues to be fixed and then jump in then or you can go ahead and try and start tweaking to your settings and get everything running properly to an experience that you can you know enjoy if you're someone who's on the fence and you're not sure if you want to get the game let me just say that i highly recommend it and as i said before you could always you know try it out now and then when they fix the performance issues go ahead and jump in again but if you're susceptible to nausea and motion sickness I have to say give this a hard pass right now and kind of see what's going on because as of right now the game is pretty jittery and it's definitely got some performance issues and it takes quite a bit of time just to get it running smoothly if you have the time to put into it and you know you're determined enough. And if you're somebody who is getting a VR headset just for this game I just want to warn you that try some other games first before you jump into this, do not let this be your first VR experience right now. I feel like that's not going to be a fair experience and you're not really going to see the true possibilities that VR can provide. Like, this game works for me because I know what VR can be and I know where this game can lead up to as, you know, as far as performance. So that's why I just keep trucking through it, baby, because I know that eventually this game is going to be buttery smooth. But as right now, they're hard at work. They're killing it with these updates and they're doing what they got to do to make the community happy. And I got to say, I'm impressed so far. There's been a lot of updates and I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more. As I said, definitely try some other experiences first. Do not jump straight into No Man's Sky VR as it's really going to be an off-putting experience. I can guarantee it because right now it's just not running good enough to be an optimal VR experience. But with all that said, hats off to... Hello Games because this right here is like a dream game come true. No Man's Sky VR feels like so many different VR games combined into one. There's so much content available to you with this game in VR that I don't think any other game right now can match it as far as content. I mean there's so much to play, so much to enjoy, and so much to experience, and so much to just share with other people in multiplayer. It's just a phenomenal VR game and has so much potential and it'll probably go down in history as one of the greatest VR titles to ever release. So with all that being said, I would say one thumbs up and maybe a thumbs to the side because they're updating it, they're doing really good, but it's not two thumbs up yet. It's just not. Now maybe when they get all the performance issues fixed, it'll be two thumbs up. But right now, guys, it's definitely going to be a mixed review for me because, like I said, not everybody can enjoy it. Not everybody has the VR legs to experience the way it is right now. And due to the performance issues, that's going to give a lot of people an off-putting experience who are just jumping into VR. So it's not really fair to, you know, sit there and say, go out and get this game because, you know, it's definitely going to be a personal experience game up until the point to where it's running good and the performance issues are fixed. But it's really, really buggy right now. And it takes a lot of tweaking to get it running good. That's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. And hope you guys are enjoying the new setup and the new quality settings. But I'm out of here. Peace.